never quite there. So I'm never 100% happy with what I do, which actually is the recipe for doing another one. And keep going and keep going. That's, that's, that's what I think. Um, I suppose it, it, it's become less about, yeah, I suppose it has really, I mean, to some degree. I mean, I, I, I try and um, I, I think the early works were really. <coughs> I mean, the works that I started in my 20s were really um, uh, not political in a larger framework, but um, it was something that I was always had an interest in. I think I was much more interested in sort of cerebral um, um, notions in the art and, um, and, and actually sort of attempting to try and sort of create something that uh, I, I thought was you know, of substance and so there was some, you know, the, the, there was a sort of tendency to sort of look at mortality a lot early on, and I find as I get older that I'm not interested in that anymore. Um, and uh, I much prefer to work with other subject matters. So, yeah, it probably has got more political towards the end. Thanks, Steve. Um, I'm, I don't really have a question, but I just wanted to say. Uh, thank you for being so um, so generous in your just saying how difficult it is out there in the art world, and also being brave enough to tell all of us as students about the commercial realities. And um, because a lot of people that get up here to say they tell us talk us through their careers, but no one ever really says how um, difficult. Journey is. So I think thank you. I just want to say thank you for that. Oh, thank, thank you. It, it is. Um, it's a tough journey. It's 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 just the nature of the beast. So I mean, one of the things I I, I think I really love is that all that sort of you know all that Damien Hurst and Jeff Kerr and stuff. Look, these these people they don't exist. They're the fantasies. They're figments. Um, what what makes that good for us? Is that because we don't have this sort of um, uh, obsession with the price of art in this country, we actually talk about the art, mm -hmm. the ideas becoming important. And uh, you know, you could look at it as sort of saying, okay, we're deficient as a, as a sort of you know, um, uh, financially, but I think because there is no great windfall here, we actually spend our time thinking more about what the art's actually about. Yeah, I'm just going to question about the um, artwork sort of sort of spectra studio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. you on um, cringe. Yeah. 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 Is it is there a feature that got in camera or do you know what it is? That makes you cringy or whatever? Uh, there's nothing really in common. I think it was the sort of thing when early on there was a sort of pressure on you to sort of. Um, uh, Somebody's interested in buying the work, you know, and oh, well, what have you got, you know? And, um, and so a lot of them are sort of like they're just not they're just not as good as the other ones, you know. And and I had bought some back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to gradually eliminate it. <laughs> considering the work and maybe also the time of an audience member considering the work too. I just thought maybe yeah, if you could talk about time. And, if, and if it's also, because it seems like you also sort of straddle a number of different time periods, like this 
the old media of newspapers, books, yeah. things to the internet, the kind of old art world of very much commercial galleries, auctions, etc. Yeah. now is kind of different. And if there's a sort of time difference in that, or yeah, we can talk about time actually. I think that might be a conversation at the pub. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, I, look, I mean, I am a product of the old art economy, um, as there are a few of us in the room like that, um, but this is new economy that perhaps students are uh, engaging in. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't know how, and I don't think anyone does, and that's kind of interesting. And uh, it just means it's, it's actually probably right for um, 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 younger friends to, um, to, to manipulate and try and get it to be a little safer. Um, I'm interested in the relationship with um, like the audience or um, the curator um, or the buyer, like the other. And whether the art is more pure or like maybe just less developed if it stays in your studio? Um, I don't know if it's. I, I don't think the word. I, I find the word pure a little difficult there. Um, uh, I don't. At a certain point, I've, I've kind of. I think I might have. Alluded to that there's this trajectory, there's a point where things shifted in my thinking. Uh, that I shifted it when, when I was no longer um, of commercial interest to a whole lot of people, and I had to sort of start finding value in it. And, and there was also a, a, a large period there where there was absolutely, there was absolutely no curatorial interest whatsoever in what I was doing, it just completely parked to one side. Um, so you know, I, I make the work for myself. I make the work because I like to look at them. Uh, I make them because, um, and if I could find someone else making the sort of pictures that I want to look at, I'd, I'd be buying them. But no one's making the sort of pictures that I want to look at. So. I have to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I hope that's so. I don't that. So the, the relationship becomes quite different to the sort of you know the, the other um, there. It, early on, it was it, you know I wouldn't say I considered it, but it was there on my shoulder. Now I don't care. Mm. It's that thing about giving yourself license. You know, about just, 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 you know, if you, you paint abstract, you know, monochrome paintings and you wake up one day and you want to paint a pussycat, paint a pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Thanks very much, Steve. Um, one thing that really struck me is this sense of courage that it requires to be an artist. And when you particularly not to do that, um, but also, I guess, the green paintings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're fantastic. And you also, that, I guess, that business in the process of making art, how you have to learn to love your ugly children, if you like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the next phase. And I just wanted to give some other observations. I feel like I've made a lot of. And um, you had some thoughts on that. Yeah. Um, and thanks for showing us. I think it's, it's, I mean, the really bad ones I haven't shown you. <laughs> um, because they were sort of already sort of, you know, they, they weren't even qualified to, to enter the mix. I, uh, but is it something that, that there is, it is important, even if they never leave the studio, mm. it's important that they have. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely yeah, yeah, essential. Yeah, yeah, you actually, make yeah, that's, yeah, I think I've, I've said you, you, you've got to get there somehow. 
and sometimes it requires you to make things that are, are, are not pretty, um, that are raw and, and, and difficult, and, um, and, and even if it never leaves the studio, it, 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 it allows you to progress. You know, it's, it's kind of, you, you're doing it, it's brick by brick by brick by brick. And, and sometimes those 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 works are you don't need to show them. There's a lot that I made that have never been shown and never will be. Because so I've slashed them. <laughs> 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 yeah. Steve, uh, please on behalf of everyone here, um, I'd like to thank you for such extraordinary generosity vulnerability and grace. Um, it's just been such a great and juicy talk today. <laughs> Hasn't it been juicy? Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of any other word. <laughs> also, congratulations on the exhibition and really congratulations to Kelly and the staff in the Potter on two extraordinary exhibitions that are on at the moment. And, um, yeah, please join me in thanking you. generations and even the work I remember going to those shows in the 80s right through to now uh, we, we hosted your PhD show at the Margaret Lawrence Gallery and you know you do represent this this I guess growth of Melbourne this shift in Melbourne and that's really an honor for us to witness um, just a couple of notices for next week our guest speaker for Art Forum is David Batchelor and that talk is part of a little seminar and the people speaking in that seminar are Lisa our staff, Tessa Laird, Sophie Nesic and myself. We'll start the talks at 10.30 and then David will be speaking at 12.30 uh, in the regular art forum time slot. And the exhibition Monochrome Empty and Full and David Batchelor Colour Ears open at 5.30 that same night. So we'll see you all there. You'll all be very welcome. Thank you. <laughs>